Okay, so I'm gonna try recording ahead, like, like, like a good YouTuber, or like, or stuff. Okay, so to lighten the mood of my channel lately, I uh, wanted to do a another episode of Fed Up Stories. Fucked Up Stories. Um, we'll call this one my pill popping brush with death. I guess. Uh, names will be changed to protect the identity of the people in the story. Because if I don't, they will murder me. Probably. Oh, so. And kapow! Look completely different now. It's magic! 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 So. Um, this is the story of the time that I almost died from pills. So, it's funny to me now. I'm sure my parents don't think it's very funny. Um, because every time something weird happens to me, something really weird happens to me. Like, it's not just like, oh, we were just, like, hanging out and... And I almost died. No, it's oh, it's always like this long, this long drawn out story. Because for whatever reason, my life is like a bad sitcom, in which just fucked up shit happens all the time. So, okay. <clears throat> anyway, so I was with two friends, and I'm going to call them Bert and Ernie. Uh, if you know who they are by the story, please do not comment who they are, or tell anybody. Just be, be cool, okay? Just be cool. <coughs> so, Bert and Ernie, um, Bert I had known, uh, a lot longer than I had known Ernie and <coughs> Ernie worked at a pharmacy in like the pharmacy department. I think I was 17 years old at the time. I'm, yeah, I'm positive I was 17 years old at the time. And so Ernie had this box, this shoe box filled with pills and there was some coke in there I think and just pill there's so many pills because she had been taking them from the pharmacy so now do you see why I can't don't tell anybody who these people are yeah okay thank you um so she had this box full of pills and I had no experience with pills, so I didn't know, like, what any of them did, or what any of them were for, or how many milligrams you could take without fucking keeling over. <coughs> so, um, one day, me, Bert, and Ernie just decided that we were just gonna get annihilated uh with this box of goodies she had so <coughs> um Bert didn't know anything about pills either so we were relying solely on Ernie's um Ernie's knowledge of them so <coughs> she would just be like okay you take one of these and you take one of these she took more than all of us because she said that since she did them on, on more of a regular basis 
that it would take more for her to get high off of them. <coughs> now, when I say pills, I don't mean just one type of pill. They were, there were just at least ten. I didn't, ten different kinds of pills, and I'm pretty sure that they were all narcotic-based pills. <coughs> the Coke, we didn't touch, um, because I, I'd never done it, and I didn't think I ever wanted to, so, yeah, anyway, so, uh, Ernie's just giving us pills, like, oh, here's a purple one, here's a green one, I think she was telling us what they did, but we weren't really paying attention, and, um, so, I had to have taken at least 20 pills of all different varieties um, that day. And um, Bert probably took the same amount as me. And then Ernie was taking like double what we were taking. So <coughs> this, you can see that this is probably not going to work out well for Ernie. <coughs> so. Bert is driving us around. Yes, this was stupid because we had just, we were just, we are taking them as she was driving too. Like, we, we didn't know, like, how bad the, what we were doing was. And I remember stopping and getting french fries at McDonald's because for some reason we were all just like, obsessed with the thought of fries and <coughs> after I'd taken all of these pills I didn't really feel anything I don't think I don't really remember um I just I don't think that they had really done anything to me so I was like this is stupid and like, I thought I was, like, immune to all pills, so, um, anyway, uh, we get this call from, uh, Bert and Ernie's friend to come over and smoke weed, and so they're like, yeah, yeah, this will be great, because we're already, like, you know, tripping on this shit, so let's, let's, you know, add to the pile, and we're like, okay, yeah, let's, uh -huh. And I had always had panic attacks when I smoked weed, and, yeah. So, we're in this girl's house, and there's a couple people there that I kind of, like, knew, but not really. They weren't my friends, but they were Bert and Ernie's friends. And so, it's like, I just pretended that I was comfortable with the situation. So, um, we smoked weed, and so we're all just sitting there, like, doing whatever, and Ernie starts trying to explain something to us, <coughs> to, um, Bert and I, and we were just like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, and so, she starts going like this. She's like, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. And my uh, panic attack mind was already, like, three steps ahead of her. And I'm like, and I, I was like, stop, stop doing that. And she's like, no, you don't understand. And I'm like, stop doing that. And I, like, started freaking out a little. I even grabbed her hand, and I, like, put it down. And after I let go of it, it went, shot right back up. And she's like, you, you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. And she was just like this, like, and so she had a seizure like that. And, uh, to this day, we call it, the, we call this the Ernie dance. I'm not going to say her. Her real name, so it's the Ernie dance, and um, so we had to call it ambulance. P 
problem was the girl's house that we were at, she worked uh, as an EMT and she's like, dudes, like, I'm fucked if you, <coughs> if they think that you got those drugs from me. So, long story short, they ended up calling the uh, ambulance anyway, and so er, uh, Ernie is getting onto the ambulance, and Bert is throwing a fit, and I'm just like sitting in the corner, like shaking, like, oh my god, please stop drawing attention to us, <coughs> and um, Bert's like screaming, she's like, trying to jump onto the ambulance with Ernie, and she's like, no, you don't understand, she hates needles, she's so afraid of needles, please don't, and like screaming like a psychopath, and I'm like hiding in a corner, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, if they look at me, oh my god, because at that point, the weed had kicked in all of the pills. <laughs> at one time. Like, just smoking weed just made everything, all of the narcotics worked in my body. So, <coughs> I'm like, I was just tweaked out of my mind. And so, um, or it's like, get in the car! And I'm like, okay. And so I get in the car with Bert and she's like, we're gonna follow the ambulance behind, we're gonna follow Ernie, and, um, I was like, okay, and so I passed the fuck out, like, like, dead type of passed out, so, Bert, okay, we have this, we had this band, like, Simple Plan was one of our bands that, like, we together loved, you know, how you have friend bands, you know, friend musicians that, like, connect you. Well, we had Simple Plan. She had had the Simple Plan CD on in her car, and I had passed out in her car. And there is a Simple Plan song called Untitled, and, um, I will actually include the lyrics in my description. But, um, she thought it, that it cued, or that it demonstrated, like, everything that was happening that night, because it kind of did. And so she's listening to this song, it's like, I open my eyes, I try, try to see, but I'm blinded by the white light. And she thought that I was dead. And she thought that she, herself, was dying. So... <laughs> She was talking to God, and she didn't want to try to wake me up, or wake me up, because she didn't want to, to conclude that I was dead. She didn't, she like knew, but she didn't want to know, if you know what I mean. So she thought she was dying, so she's like talking to God, and she doesn't even know how she got to the hospital we were both just mind fucked and she doesn't know how she drove there uh, she actually drove into the ambulance um, like drop off place and they were like no you have to go like to like the regular parking and she's like okay okay so I don't know how but we find the floor she's on and, uh, I had woken up, and I was alive, obviously, and, uh, so Bert, um, has me sit in the waiting room, and, um, she goes to Ernie's room, and I'm just sitting there, like, now I'm just like, la 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 like, totally space cadet. And this little old lady, I guess she wasn't that old, she was probably in her 50s, 
and she's like, oh, what are you here for, honey? I'm like, oh, my friend had a seizure, and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, is she prone to seizures? And I'm like, no, and she's like, well, okay, well, I wish the best for you, and I'm like, thank you, and she thought that I was this nice little girl that, like, was this perfect little thing. <coughs> So, I'm just sitting there, and down the hall comes storming Ernie's mom. Just already screaming at me. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And so she's like, where did she get them? And I'm like, what? And she's like, who gave her the pills? You gave her the pills? And I'm like, no, I, 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 I didn't, I, I, I didn't do it. And so this old lady that thought I was the cutest little button was like, ew, like, now she thinks I'm like this dirtbag trash teenager, which I guess I was. And so Ernie's mom's just like screaming. She's like, where were you? Where were you? Where you got the pills? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know where they came from. I, like, the only thing in my mind was that I knew I had to protect Ernie and so I was like I don't know I don't know she's like where were you and I'm like oh at this place behind this pizza place I don't know like I don't know how to describe it to you and so she stomps back down the hall and I'm just sitting there like looking at this old lady and the old lady's like and I'm like uh. and so I never went down to Ernie's room to see if she was okay because I was terrified of her mother. Bert was down there though and Bert called my family and was like, told them, she told my brother Bobby about like the hospital so they, that he thought that I was in the hospital because she was babbling. And so my whole family goes to the hospital thinking I'm like in this like pill coma and so me and Bert go back home Bert first has to make a uh, pit stop at Ernie's home because Ernie the only thing she told her was hide the pills so Bert did just that she went into Ernie's home and she tracked she tracked a bunch of mud and cleaned it up with towels all, all just completely fucked up. And so we get to my house. Nobody's there because they're at the hospital because they think I'm, like, dying. <clears throat> and me and Bart just lay on the couch, like, one head on each end and just knock the fuck out like I do not sleep soundly and I was just dead to the world so uh, my dad wakes me up like maybe an hour two hours later and he's like oh you were taking pills huh and this was me no lie I open my eyes and I go no out out like a light that was the end of the story like he didn't get to say anything else because I was done like gone and so what saved me I still believe this to this day what saved me was I woke up at about three four o'clock in the morning ran to the bathroom and just vomited white foam. Can you imagine that? White foam was what all those pills had turned into. And so I think that if I had not randomly woken up in the middle of the night and just my body just was rejecting what I put in it, I think that I probably would have died. As for Bert, I think because she is so tall, 
and you know had some muscle and weight to her that that's why she was okay so the next day was hell like I had to do chores all day you know like I just almost died the last night the night before and I was not allowed to see Bert for a very very long time and um, my dad made me take like these natural pill things to like flush my system out to get rid of all the pills. So yeah, that was one of my first brushes with death. And I hope that entertained you. So I'm going to put those lyrics down there. You should look up the song and when you hear it just think about my night that I just told you about. Think about how it might correlate. Um, it also reminds me of my accident but uh, first and foremost it reminds me of that pill night because my one of my best friends thought that I was dead, that she was dying, and I don't know, that's just some kind of weird, crazy poetry. Um, can I have a look to check out my teeth? I don't know. Anyway, um, like or subscribe or uh, tell me what to do for next week or something. I don't, I don't know. Or Sunday. I'll see you Sunday. Um, please subscribe if you like my content and if you think that I'm crazy and you would like to see more of this crazy biatch. No, I'm just rambling. Okay, bye.